All right, welcome back guys to the channel. Hope you guys been enjoying my content. Uh, today I picked up this uh, survival kit. I've done one in the past, I did a backpack. And uh, this one supposedly is supposed to have more stuff in it. So let's take a look. Let's do like, I guess a review on this. By the way, I'm not sponsored by anybody. So the gear I wear, the stuff I buy, I buy myself and then I kind of just show you guys what what's in it, what it's all about. So hint, hint to any of you guys who are out there that are uh, looking to sponsor a channel, hit me up. So this one's supposed to have a uh, two emergency ponchos, two emergency blankets, paracord, a whistle, multi-blade tool knife, mini roll duct tape, a waterproof tablet, and uh, Oh, it has a crank flashlight. Well, this is pretty cool. It has a bunch of stuff in there. It has uh, three days of food and water for two people. It has a uh, <clears throat> flint, fire striker, burn gel, first aid kit, and a storage bag, of course. So let's open this up. All right, I'm going to set this bag down. First thing, we have Food Lab, emergency drinking water. So these are like bags of water, like the last one I have that I opened. Oops. So you kind of just like, it's just a water in a baggie. Trust me, drinking water out of a bag is kind of weird. I've done it before and it tastes like, it tastes like water, but it's just, you expect something else. So that's that. Oh, we got these nasty emergency food bars. These things are disgusting. It's like a bar of chalk, and that's why you need all that water so you can wash this down. Cause it's it's really gross. I've eaten one before on the last video. So you have two of those. I guess that's supposed to be your food for two people. And then you have more water. I guess this is your little emergency bag. So you got some paracord. You got a whistle. We can open this up. You got a whistle here with a compass. I don't know how accurate it is. Yeah, it's pretty accurate. North is that way. And then you got a little storage. You can probably put your matches in there. <clears throat> Here's a whistle for people that need help mentally. Some tweezers that don't work because they're plastic. So good luck with these. These are worthless. In my opinion, they should give you metal ones for what you pay for this kit. You're better off using one of these little safety pins to poke it out with. So I guess this could be for like bandages or uh, if you rip your pants. You got a flint striker here. These actually work pretty good. You just have to uh, clean off all the uh, all the stuff, all the black stuff on it, so it will work. You just scrape it off a little bit, and then when you strike it, you gotta use the teeth part, which I pretty much probably jacked it up already. All right, I kind of took it apart. But yeah, once you clean all this black stuff off, then you can get a good strike on it. So that works pretty good. Also comes with some scissors. This is your multi-tool. I've seen a lot of these on the kits. They actually work pretty good, pretty sharp. Has a little saw. Here's your little socket area. Get your can opener. The can open actually works pretty good. There's a blade on here, so be careful. You got your duct tape. I don't know how good it is, but it's pretty sticky. So that comes in the kit also. Here's another bag. I guess this would be like your first aid kit. Get your gauze tape. I have no 
idea what this is. It's like little tablets. Well, let's just open it. This is a review anyway. Pills. I have no idea what those are. Maybe Tylenol or something. Doesn't say what it is. It doesn't say what it is. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. Can you see that? I don't know what these are, guys, but if you guys know, leave a comment. Because I have no clue. It doesn't even say on the package what it is, which is kind of scary. But you do have uh, Q-tips, alcohol wipes, more alcohol wipes, gauze, band-aids. And then you got this huge bandage. So... You yeah, quite a bit of stuff in here. This looks like toilet paper. You always need toilet paper. Just in case. There's some bandage wrap. More bandage wrap. Hand sanitizer. What was this at when, when you needed it, huh? Pair of rubber gloves. And an ice pack. In case you get burned, in case your fire gets out of hand and then you burn yourself. So that's what that's what's in the safety bag. Alright, right here you got your two ponchos and you got your safety blanket, your emergency blanket. There's your Dora, the Explorer blanket right there, and your poncho. I've seen guys actually take the poncho and the emergency blanket, and they wrap themselves, and they light a candle right by their feet, and then they cover themselves, and then the heat will actually heat up your emergency blanket or your poncho to keep you warm, if you have a candle. I don't see a candle in this, in this kit, so why would I throw it in there? Alright, you get a cool strap. I guess that's for the bag to carry over your shoulder when you're traveling. Let me clean some of this up. The scissors not included. <clears throat> Alright. So this is your emergency flashlight. This hand pressing flashlight. All right, so this is the flashlight that uh, it's pretty bright. Oh, so what you do is you wind it up, and then it stores the energy, and then you're. You have a little bright little flashlight. Works pretty good. Oh, yeah. okay, and then you got your little LED flashlight. It actually comes with batteries, which is pretty cool. They're heavy duty, probably from like the dollar store. So I would suggest probably putting some better set of batteries in this kit, just in case. And then there's your other flashlight. A little LED flashlight, pretty bright. So that's what comes in this kit. <clears throat> so you get this cool little bag. I guess that's where you put your strap at to carry it on your bag and your back if you're gonna travel. When I buy it, it was $62 at Walmart. 
I'm not sponsored by Walmart, but uh, is it worth it? I think it's worth it, except for this. These food bars are really disgusting. It's like eating chalk. But uh, thank you guys for watching. Please leave a comment. Please let me know what you think about this kit if you have one. And like I said, if you guys know what these are, let me know what these are down in the comments below. Thank you guys for watching. Much appreciated. Until next time. Bye.